In today's video, I'm going to talk about all the new growth that my plants have. I noticed yesterday since it was semi hydro flush day where I go through all my plants and I flush the ones that are in LECA and then I replace the nutrients. That's when I, of course, inspect every plant because I'm going through them anyways. Most of them have new growth now and it's October. I am going to show you all of the ones that I noticed new growth on. I'm not going to go through all of the plants because that would just be another health plant collection. Yeah, let's get started. For new growth updates, I'm going to start off with my philodendromycans because it is crazy so when i first got this i got it when it was pretty full of the top and it was not trailing at all but look at it now and i had to put it on the bed in order to show you because i actually normally keep this all wrapped up because i don't have the space for it to trail all the way down and then in that case the trailing part wouldn't have any light this is just running wild and this one is in semi-hydroponics the roots are growing under the bottom of the pot but i keep just kind of cutting it because i don't feel like repotting it when something is this full I get kind of lazy with the repotting so that's what has been working out for me I don't necessarily recommend that but I tend to do that when I don't feel like repotting a plant that is in semi hydroponics look at this trail check that out it is just going crazy and I love it so much I cannot wait to have this hanging up one day so you can truly appreciate the beauty of it this is what I mean by keeping it wrapped up in itself so all of it gets some light based on where it sits at the windowsill. Next, I'll move on to my Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight. Here is the new growth. So it's popping on a leaf there. At first, I thought it was a slow grower. It's weird that all of my plants are starting to grow more now that it's October. And there, this is a new leaf that unfurled. And right there. Oh, that's a new leaf that unfurled as well. I am so in love with the silver foliage and it's really thick leaves. Here is my Monstera Standialana. I keep this one wrapped up in itself too because it is growing this long trail. I don't even know where this starts. Hang on. Ah! Oh, okay. So here's one. So it goes all the way up here. There's another one on that side. Yeah, so this one's a pretty fast grower, and here's another one. So it is definitely starting to trail. And it's funny when it starts trailing that it looks like it's just reaching for something. This one, I'm gonna have to put on the bed. This is my Philodendron Rio Sport. I cannot believe how much this has grown. So if you watched the unboxing of this, it was definitely smaller than this, but it has put out so much new growth. Check that out. It's a barely trailer still, but it's definitely trying to trail. As you can see, it's coming down this way and that way as well. So pretty. One of my favorite trailing plants. This is my Philodendron Silver Sword. When I first got it, it was in a four inch pot. Now it's in a six inch, but it has grown so full and it's growing a lot taller. You can see the new growth that's coming out right there and there. I just don't know when it started growing so much. One day I looked back and I was like, holy crap, it's like double the size as when I first got it. It's so tall now, see? all the way up here. This is my Monstera Sandiolana Albo Variegata and when I first got this if you saw the unboxing it was not a happy plant but I revived the part that was very very sad when it came and then I got sent another piece but this is a new leaf right here that unfurled. It doesn't have too much variegation. I was really hoping it would look more like that but it's okay. It's also putting out another leaf right there. Hopefully it puts out more variegation. I hope this one grows as fast as my regular Monstera Sanda Yolana. This one is my Syndapsis Pictus Exotica that started out as a really small cutting. Um, and now it's putting out huge leaves like compared to my hand. Okay, so I'm so excited that my Raphidophora Tetrasperma finally is deciding to put out another leaf. Because this one leaf little guy is growing a friend right there. It is growing bigger every day pretty quickly, so I cannot wait to see what that new leaf looks like. This is my Monstera Anansoni narrow form. It originally came with larger leaves like this, and then it's putting out a bunch of new growth, but it is not fenestrated. This cute little one is a new leaf, and that has like one or two holes? No, it's one. One fenestration and one right there too. It's doing okay. I, it would probably put out more fenestrations if it was actually climbing on something, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. We'll see what happens. It definitely puts out new growth every time. I love trailing plants for that reason because you every time you look back, there's just new growth that is happening. This is my Monstera Thai Constellation. So since I got it in my possession, it put out this fenestrated leaf. This was its first fenestrated leaf and then 
this one. I just hope one day it starts to put out some more white in it. But my huge trailing synopsis like this Exotica. Let me just bring it over here. I should probably be holding this up, but I don't have the space to be showing you that. But the trails, again, I have it wrapped in itself. You can see it comes all the way over here and it's tangled of course oh there you go when i hold it up this one trail is taller than i am which is not very tall but it's pretty cool because it was not trailing that much when i first got it my variegated monstera has grown so much since my husband got it for me i feel like when he got it for me it was like at this point but it's grown a lot since i can get all the way up here these two leaves at the top are new, and so is this one. And I love the variegation of mine. It, it's definitely marbling and it's not sectoral, but I feel like because of that, it grows a little bit faster than well, the rate that it, most people say a variegated monstera should grow at. So over here, it's putting out some new growth. That's not as variegated. I'm gonna see what that leaf is like when it unfurls, but the stem is definitely white. Hopefully that means there will be a lot of variegation on that leaf that's gonna unfurl, but we'll see. If not, I might just chop it off and propagate it and see what happens. Found another leaf the other day. Oh, oh geez. That one back there, oh, that's a pretty leaf too. That is some sectoral variegation on that leaf, and that is putting out some new growth as well. I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> I think I see some white there, so I think hopefully that'll be a pretty leaf. This. Variegata monstera is doing its thing. So this neon pothos is always putting out some new growth, but those are new leaves. And I have it actually attached to this wire grid so it can hopefully climb. Maybe it'll grow some larger leaves that way. This one always puts out new leaves. When I first got it, it was not full at all. And I just keep having to chop it back because it always eventually starts to trail again and then I keep chopping it back to make it full again. But now that it's full enough, it is constantly putting out some new growth and I'm just going to let it start trailing and doing its thing. Probably no more chop and prop for this one. This new growth is so pretty. Look at that leaf right there. It's kind of small, but the variegation is so cool. I don't know, I like the design of that leaf, but all of these leaves are new right here. This is my Monstera Saltipicana. I think I arrange it kind of ugly, to be honest, because when it's in Lekka, kind of arrange it a certain way. I don't like the way I did it this time, but it's fine. It's been putting out a lot of new growth. Like, all of this is new at the top right here. Again, when I got it, this was not full at all it was kind of it was almost like one very long trail but I keep chopping it back and having to propagate in order to make it full when it's full enough I will let it start trailing this one I got it at the same time this is my Cebu blue pothos and it is so full now when I first got it, it was not full at all and now it's trailing I'm actually having it climb up the wire grid this is my pothos enjoy that <laughs> I saved from root rot it was full at one point and then obviously when it started having root rot it definitely thinned out a bit but since putting it in the LECA, it's definitely happy again. I really like this new growth right here because it's darker green and then it gets lighter in the middle. Yeah, it's definitely getting more and more full. I might have to do a few more chop and props with this one to make it actually full and then finally let it trail and do its thing. And here's my pink syngonium that pretty much always puts out some new growth. But there's just more pink here and there that is starting to unfurl. Yeah, not too much to say about this one other than when I took it out of the brighter light is when it started more pink growth have you guys noticed that by having this in bright light it was putting out growth like this and then when I took it out of the brighter light it started putting out more pink ever since I got this monster at in Sonai regular form it has been spitting out so much new growth that leaf is unfurling this is new and it's growing straight upward it's growing so much this is new growth that over there is gonna unfurl as well this one has been happy ever since i got it still in soil here is my philodendron bipenifolium i watered it for the first time yesterday i got it weeks ago whenever i posted that vlog is when i got it the shop with me but it's been putting out a lot of new growth there and there yeah this one's just a monster and there as well just every time I look at it, I see some new growth, and because of that, I've been lazy, and it is still in soil. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. I could totally transfer this to semi-hydro if I felt like it, 
but I don't feel like it right now, so. <laughs> my fiddle leaf fig has been happy ever since it's been put in semi-hydro, so these huge leaves are all from semi-hydro, as you can see there. And then the smaller ones that you see down here are when I first got it and it was in soil from Home Depot. It is putting out yet another leaf. Anytime you see the bud swelling like that, then you know it's going to have some new growth. Again, I'm on my tippy toes and I'm trying my best to show you, but there's going to be a new leaf that comes out of there. Sometimes it's one at a time, sometimes it's two. I'm not sure yet about what this will be. Okay, and this is my string of hearts. When I first got it, it was full, but it was not trailing much, and now it's trailing so much that it's completely tangled up in itself, and I still have not untangled it. I'll probably do that when I decide to hang it up, but it has grown like crazy. They get kind of pricey, but they grow so, so fast. And I water it like every few weeks. It's still in soil. So we are about to head into TJ Maxx just because and look at some home decor. And we're just looking at home decor stuff, even though we don't move until February. Alright, what do you think of this one? I don't like the color. I don't like the foo foo. Me either. <laughs> $300. I've seen ones for really expensive. And then I don't like the metal thingy. So, nah. Moving on? Nah. These seem like quite interesting things though. They have like a bunch of cheap chairs that I've seen. They're way more expensive. It's kind of hard in here because you'll find one sometimes. It's like this. Because I wanted the Crate and Barrel one. What's it called? Is it Crate and Barrel? West Elm. The West Elm one, and it looks kind of similar to this, except I like the other one more because it's more minimal. The legs are more minimal. The other one's like $200, though. So $200 I like the other one more. versus $60. <laughs> I like the other one more. Hello. Hello. Look at all these random little trinkets. I don't like trinkets, really. Ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. They have cute plants. They have plants. I always have to check out the pots when I come here. I think it's just a seasonal thing now because this part used to fill up an entire section. I have this one. So cute. $10. They have a bunch of them back here actually. Aww. Kinda cute. I wouldn't get it though. If you have that fear of circles, you would really hate this. Yeah, not too much to select from. They have the best snacks here. So many honeys and stuff, and they have a bunch of healthy foods. Healthy snacks. That's my favorite. That is my favorite. He eats gummy bears like it's its own food category. Vegan gummy bears. See how much it costs because it's vegan. <laughs> oh, it's, it's two ninety nine. It is a really small one. Where are those wafers? <laughs> wow, there's not a lot of people here. <laughs> Why are they so Larry's Larry's cookies here? We used to eat this. Oh, it's only three ninety nine. Wait, how much does it normally cost? I don't know. This flavor is disgusting though. <laughs> it tastes like dirt. Can you use those flavor? Mm. This is interesting. They have like such cool snacks. Some random stuff. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. It's an Italian coffee maker. I use my French drip. That's really Cute look. Look. <laughs> it looks so fake. But they did a pretty good job with the penetration. Yeah. They have begonias at Sprouts. So we went into Sprouts. We were just going in there for some cucumbers because if you follow me on Instagram, my husband makes <laughs> makes me some cucumber gimlets. What is happening, bud? Cucumbers, gin, lime, stevia. Lime and stevia? Is it? Okay. And then we picked up some moon drop 
these are Moondrop uh, grapes. My husband has been on a grape kick, so if you know the brand that makes the cotton candy grapes, I think it's the same brand, right? Yeah. I haven't seen the moon drops. They also make gumdrop one too. Um, I know the cotton candy one does taste like cotton candy. Okay, discover a flavor that is out of this world. Moon drops are one of a kind shapes that just an equally unique taste experience. One heavenly taste, and you'll agree these moon drops are stellar. So it's not really supposed to taste like anything, right? It's just like look how weird. I hope the lighting's okay, but it's like a weird Ooh. shape. Ooh. It's like acidic. It's not just sweet, but it's like acidic. Oh wait, I like those. Mm. I can't describe it. It looks like fingers. <laughs> I like the cotton candy grape ones, but after eating them for a while, it gets too sweet. So th this one has some acidity in it, so it makes it... But this is still pretty sweet. I don't think it'll... Yeah, it's still sweet, but there's also acidity. It's such a weird shape. They're like tiny eggplants. Yeah. <laughs> Eggplant grapes. It's so weird. Wait, I'm going to compare it to my finger. It's like the same size as my pinky. Oh my gosh. I also got some strawberries because I've been on a chia seed pudding kick, and strawberries taste really good on it. He's been on one, too. I found... Yeah, it's really good. I think that is it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, guys. Oh. Oh, no.